Dear Diary, No matter how much I try to forget it, the memory of that Harper girl's face as she dumped that plate of spaghetti on me still runs fresh in my mind. How can it not? It did only happen several hours ago. I also decided not to call my mom on my first day. I messaged her telling her I was all okay and I'm having the best time of my life. Because if I did call her, she would just see straight through my facade. Another constant reminder is my uniform, which is now coated in red sauce. The uniform for Clement Academy is hella expensive, hence why I only have one set. Which brings me here. Sneaking out after hours. Breaking rule 12. Do not leave the dorm room after lights out unless it's an emergency or have permission to do so. Just so I can do my laundry. On top of this, I'm also about to break probably the most important school rule. Being alone with a boy after lights out. Yeah. This was a surprise to me, too. <laughs> that was close. Ah! What are you doing here? Shush! Be quiet! Someone's gonna hear us! Hands off! I ask you a question. What are you doing here? Oh, Spaghetti Girl. Hmm. So, what's your reason for doing laundry this late at night? Sorry, I don't talk to strangers. I should be the one who's scared. Hell yeah, since you now have that reptile parasite guarding your every move. At first, I didn't get who he was talking about. Then I realized he was talking about Harper. What has that girl done to get a reputation like this? She's not actually that bad, is she? Today is only the first day of school and we only have about four years left. That's a lot of years to be targeted by a mean girl. Not my problem. I wasn't talking to you. Then who are you talking to? You don't mean... You can see something I can't? <laughs> oh well. Again, that's none of my business. Uh, I wasn't talking to anyone! I was... Talking to myself. <laughs> You've got a friend in me I will always be your best friend till the end Whenever you want, lean on me I know I can count on you You'll be there for me, I'll be there too Any day, anywhere, just call my name I know you'll do the same Good as new. Okay, Heart, you can do this. Take two. But if you keep putting your hangers there, they'll eventually pile up. Then it's even a bigger mess to clean. I won't let it pile up. I just like to keep them there so I know where I can find them. Well, at least put them inside the wardrobe or stack them nicely. We all have to do our part to keep this room tidy. Right, Heart? What are we fighting about? The clothes hangers. Quinn likes to keep them in a pile next to her bed. It's messy. It's nowhere near your area. It's near my bed. Why Why should it matter? Because we have to look at it. Guys, we'll put the hangers here so they look a little neater. Okay? I'm good with that. <sighs> Fine. It's better than nothing. Uh, where'd your uniform go? Here, wearing it right now. How? I washed them. When? 
Last night? Where? That's the first period bell. Come on, guys. We can't be late for our first class. Wait, I still have to find my calculator. Ugh, I'm done being late. Come, Hart. Let's go. We wouldn't want a repeat of yesterday. Sorry, Quinn. Nice of you to join us today, ladies. Sorry, sorry. That's alright. You're not officially late yet, but if possible, please come in earlier, okay? Shall we get started? Welcome to first year English, ladies and gentlemen. A few notes before we begin our session. The headmaster would like me to reiterate a few things from yesterday's assembly. Every student must be inside their dorm room after lights out. Unless your dorm is burning down, you should not be anywhere but your dorm rooms. Staff found that a student or students were in the laundry room late last night. A reminder that this is punishable by multiple detentions and a meeting with parents. If you cannot follow simple rules like this, we will have to reconsider your stay at this institution. Now that that's done, let's talk about this semester book that each of you has to read. A Shakespeare classic, Romeo and Juliet. As much as I would love to know more about Romeo and Juliet, my mind drifted to the obvious. Did someone see us last night? That wouldn't be right. If someone did see us, I'd be in detention right now. Did I leave sock in the washing machine or something? Did I forget to close the door? Paranoia started taking over my brain and that guy. Technically, he's the only one that knows I've been out after lights out. He wouldn't dial on me, right? Yeah, that's right. He won't. Because if he did, he would get into a lot of trouble too. Of course. Now, calm down, heart. Everything's gonna be all right. Clover, wake up! Did you seriously sleep through all that? Hmm? Huh? Oh, just about halfway. Romeo and Juliet are kind of boring. And why do they talk funny? <laughs> Heart? Yes? Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. I'll wait outside. You didn't think you could hide it from us, did you? What? Listen, I wasn't trying to hide it. Well, I, I just really needed to... Prove yourself? Huh? I get it, you know. I was a scholar in this boarding stool too when I was your age. I had to prove myself to my peers. I'm sorry? You were hiding the fact that you're a star student. Like I said, I get it. You probably didn't want it to get out and have teachers favoring you without proving yourself first. Don't worry, I'll keep your little secret. I, however, want to extend a formal invitation to you. We would like you to be a part of Clements National Scholistic Tournament Team. You would have heard of it from the orientation assembly yesterday. Yeah, I think I remember. With your previous grades from your past school, you might just be what we need to win the tournament. Please do consider it. I already sent an invitation email to you and to your guardians. I also attach additional information if you'd like to know more. Thanks! I'll have a look at it! Well, let me know as soon as you can. I will try to hold a spot for you. Thanks for considering me! All good. Have a great rest of your day. You too, Mrs. O'Brien. Thanks again! What was that about? She wanted to ask me if I wanted to join the team for the National Scholastic Tournament. Wow! Look at you doing smart girl stuff! <laughs> Can't relate! <laughs> Don't say that. What class do you have next? Biology. Ooh, I have that third period. I think I have maths with Quinn now. Uh, good luck with that. <laughs> I'll see you at lunchtime. And don't forget, we have cheer tryouts! 
See you then! No one's here yet. I better grab lab goggles too, just in case. Oh no, it's Harper! Oh. Do we really have to wear these lab coats? I mean, everyone has to. Exactly! I'm so getting my own next time. They smell kind of funny. Don't we have people to wash them or something? Actually, this room smells kind of funny. No, that's just your perfume. <gasps> really? Shoot, I forgot my pencil case in my locker. Give me a pen. Uh... I don't have a spare. Then, what am I gonna write with? Ask someone else. Oh, I hate you. Do you have a pen I can borrow? Are you mute or something? No, um, I, I don't have one, sorry. Weirdo. May I borrow a pen? Uh, okay, here, I guess. She didn't recognize me. That was close. I guess these goggles really came in handy. Hey! Great! You're here! Has it started yet? It's about to! Look at the cheer uniform's heart! They're so cute! That's going to be us soon! How optimistic of you. Of course! Okay, ladies. Gather here, please. So, welcome to this year's cheer tryouts. Today, we would like you to do a couple of routines demonstrated by our cheer team. And maybe we can even have a freestyling session at the end. <laughs> Why are they wearing the uniforms already? I heard they're already in the team. They're just doing this for the formality. The tryouts will be out tomorrow afternoon in the you okay? Uh-huh. Good luck, everyone. And remember, if you don't make it in the team this year, there's always next year. Thanks, ladies. Let's begin. Oh!
You think so? <laughs> it's finally over! By the way, did you see Harper's group? They are definitely getting in. Their solos were good, but not as good as yours. <laughs> Thanks, Bestie. I was waiting for that. <laughs> I got in? I got in! Me too! Oh my gosh, we're gonna be cheerleaders! Oh, I can't see! Excuse me, sorry. Ashfield? Ashfield? Clover Ashfield? Ah! Yes! Let's go! I'm officially a cheerleader! Ah! Heart? My name's not there. What? Let me see. It's fine. Congratulations. I knew you'd get in. Heart. I'm so sorry. It's not a big deal. I'm fine. There's still other clubs I can sign up for. But we won't be together. That's okay. Like what Coach said, there's always next year. I'll just try a little harder next time. Aww. Heart. Hey. You got in, right? Coach called for a cheer meeting. It's at the gym. Oh, okay. Go. You don't want to be late. Are you sure? Yes. Go. Let's go, guys. I wanted to say, don't go. Stay with me. Let's find a different club that'll accept both of us. But I knew I couldn't do that. That would be selfish. And I'm so proud of Clover. She deserves this more than anyone. And maybe cheerleading just isn't for me. I try not to take it too hard. There's always next year. But there's that annoying, irrational voice in my head that I've been trying to ignore and it's been getting louder and louder. It keeps telling me that if I don't keep my best friend close, I might lose her. Hello there, I'm Harper. This is Ruby and Isabella. Hello. Hi. Want to walk with us? We're heading to the cheer meeting as well. Uh, sh sure! I'm Clover, by the way. What a cute name. 